Ronnie Dahl, Four Wheeling Australia. Welcome to our Shark Bay series. Well, in actual fact, Dirk Hartog. We are on our way to the island called Dirk Hartog. A lot of history on this island. We're one of the, well, the second Dutch person to ever see Australia when it was called New Holland. More on that when we get to Dirk Hartog. Before that, we are on our way to False Entrance. So right now we're on Useless Loop Road, which is in Shark Bay, about halfway up in Western Australia. We just came from the Overlander Roadhouse. We've topped up on fuel. We're all ready, we're all super excited. We have a boat behind us, as you can see there. Torben's bringing the boat in. As I'm towing the X2 trailer, we're bringing a lot of gear. We've got a few base camps. It's gonna be a very different adventure, this one. A bit on the water, a lot on the land, a lot on the island. Really looking forward to this one. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, to explain exactly where we're going, this is a land down under, Australia. This, my friends, is Western Australia. This is Perth. This is Shark Bay. Close look of Shark Bay. Shark Bay area is this area, just north of Kalbarri. We are currently on Useless Loop Road, about here somewhere. We are stopping at False Entrance as our first base camp. Second base camp will be Steep Point, followed by Dirk Hartog Island which would be most of the adventure. Stay tuned. Useless Loop Road. Welcome to one of Western Australia's most roughest roads, or at least used to be. But let's hear Torben's opinion on this road as it is now, because he has traveled this road many more times than I have. So we're on the uh, useless loop road at last, heading out to uh, false entrance today. Uh, it's been about probably a year and a half, maybe two years at the most Thank since I was here last. And uh, I'm a bit disappointed. Um, we used to take a dirt track in which kept most people off. But um, if you look at it now, it's been bitumen for the last 30 k's. I mean, it's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. So, hopefully we get to some rough stuff and get to wet a line soon. Cool. As you already know, we are towing a boat on a trailer that's probably not the best for off-road use. This is a road trailer. However, we are persisting with it. The boat is there so we can expand on what we can do when we get to the island. So care needs to be taken on the trailer and the boat. Here we are at false entrance. Now it's been a while since I've been here last and I've come in the incorrect way. This is the hard way. I know there are some off camera sections coming up so we need to check what it's like before we commit and try and take this boat trailer through because it will not be easy. All right, so I jumped in with Wayne. We're gonna check out what the beach is like. It should be fine, but we're tight. That boat's gonna be hard to turn around. 
it looks like it's high tide, so. Yeah. Just never know. Let's go. We've done this a few times before, haven't we? <laughs> Let's go, take a look. Let's not in the dark this time. <laughs> Remember that time in, in the dark where the tide was coming in? Oh, yeah, man, that was hectic. Went out to get spare parts? Yeah. That was crazy. Feeling like pretty soft? Um, on my tyres are about 22. So. Not too bad. Okay, there's rock underneath us anyway. So there's all rock there. Yeah. It's going to be interesting with the boats. Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> I think we're getting the boat through here. Nah. What do you think? Well, we can, but I think there'll be a lot of winching. Nah, not even, I don't even think I'll get through there. Oh, well, but... oh you'll get through there. Um, that's, that's the way there. That's where I normally come in over here. Oh, okay. So that one. Yeah, I just don't know how we missed it. If we pull the boat through here, we risk damaging the boat and getting stuck for a long time. It's not worth it. So I reckon we go around the other way. You drive down this easy, it's just getting up, it's just like all sand swept. So we'll come back your way and we'll uh, go in the uh, way I normally come in. Alrighty, copy. Yeah, I'd rather be safe than sorry, especially on the first day. <laughs> Don't want to stuff something up before we even get there. Yeah, that's right. Some risks are worth the thrill and the fun. But some are just downright foolish, and this is one of those. Is he gonna get it? Yes he can, yes he can. Nice one, Torbs. I didn't think that was gonna go.
slippery. I thought it was going to be warmer, to be honest. But, uh, it was pretty warm today, though. Yeah. It was pretty hot. Oh, oh that's, that's good enough. to the blowholes now. Um, you're probably thinking what the hell are blowholes? Well, we're on the top of a cliff at the moment and uh, when a swell and the wind smashes against the, the side of the cliff, there's a few holes and channels going through and end up being blowholes. So when the swell's really pumping, they're actually like splurred out like a, like a whale, a whale coming up for a bit of a breath and clearing the, clearing the airway. That's what's coming up. Apart from that, there's heaps of trucks that just go down to the cliff all around here. Um, it's probably been five years ago since I was here last time. And you can easily spend a whole week just around false entrance, just looking, uh, fishing, and then do your day trip to Steep Point, to the most westerly point of Australia and whatnot. So, um, Right now we're going to take you to the blowholes anyway, which is not far from here. Blowholes may have been a bit of an anti-climax because you have to be there at the right time, the swell has to be pumping, the wind has to be up. The scenery, however, did not let us down. Land run, we're going to go for a quick, uh, quick burn up the beach. Yeah, we'll go up the beach. We'll go to Crokey Bay.
stopping for quick photo shoots, especially at sunset, is something we actually do on a regular basis and I'll cover a bit more of that in further videos. But uh, sometimes things don't go to plan. And what I mean by things not going to plan, in this particular situation I asked Travis to move forward and he got a bit stuck with an incoming tide. As you can see, this is very rush rush and that's because the tide's coming in. Once that water starts hitting Travis's car, it's going to be very hard to get it out. Now at this stage I think Travis is inside the vehicle and he is not. And this is why we always wait for both drivers to communicate before we take off. Hence the reason why I'm not moving until I hear from him. That was pretty close. I was just so lucky. Look at this. That's how quick it can happen. That's good enough for a go. Yeah. Not walking it though. Rightio, enough mucking around for today. Let's head back to camp and have a few cold ones. And a meal. We're getting pretty hungry. Travis just said something, I said stop. Say it again. So I'd just like to say cheers to that, because that's the first time someone's recovered me in that car. Ever? Yeah, ever. Really? And and the 200. She, yeah, did you get me out last time? No. I went down the beach, I got stuck on my own. Yeah, you got, got you myself out. And got you out. Yeah. You did a lot of yeah. digging. So cheers. <laughs> Thanks for that. Cheers. What did we do? Four minutes. <laughs> yeah, four minutes flat. Uh, everyone had to get out of the way because they were like, where's Ronnie? Oh, oh he's yeah. in the car. Quick, get out of the way. <laughs> No, I, was, I was sitting in the car going, are we clear? Are we clear? There's no one yeah, answering was, me. And I got back in, you on the channel, I was like, 
Yeah, no, what were good. you doing? I thought you I was getting the shovel out because you started digging oh. and then you jumped in the car and I was yeah. like... Because Wayne's standing next to me, he's like, I'm ready to go and he's like, he's like, Trav's not in the car. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I could have done it quicker. <laughs> Half the time. <laughs> I was trying to hook I up just the get my shovel out of the car <laughs> take <takes> off. <laughs> no, it was alright. So what happened there was, was I was taking good. photos and I said, just move a bit forward and he was in yeah, first gear. Really you were in first spot. gear? Yeah, and first you, gear. You, you should, if you stayed, you would have got out. Yeah, it would have taken ages. Stayed, yeah. And then he it's pops in, patient. Pop does second. the old pop second. Oh, <laughs> straight down. <laughs> <laughs> Found water. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's like, yeah. I reckon two, min two minutes after that recovery, your wheel tracks fill up with water. Yeah, go on. <laughs> That's how quick it can happen, eh? Yeah, yeah right. it's not somewhere you're going to be on your own. Yeah. This sand here, like it's 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 heavy as well. It's like, yeah, really it's dense. Like, it's like super too. Like yeah. the, the, mm. the sand was like oh, but similar to the stuff I got stuck in. Yeah, that oh, night. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's the true. Night, yeah, because yeah, we'd get a little bit further and then it was just <laughs> drop again. It was the other, the other funny so, thing is I was getting my photo shoot done <laughs> of a car. Okay. I looked back and I was like, oh, yeah, Trav's alright. I look back again. There's a wave right up the cars. I'm like, okay, better go help him. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like getting the, the shovel out of the box. And by the time I got there, I already done everything. <laughs> I was getting the shovel out of the box, and I was like, hang on, another wave comes in. It's going to fill the box in with water. Oh, let's, let's get a <laughs> yeah, snack like to talk, mate. Um, yeah, we got the weather key going. Yeah. entrance as you can see <clears throat> Wayne's already shut his rooftop tent so he's pretty eager to get going this morning I like his enthusiasm but everyone else is still sleeping it's past seven I've been up since six I thought I was sneaking a quick little fish while the boys are still sleeping. <laughs> Three bites? Ah, uh, first half of me. Got snagged though. <laughs> Whilst the rest of the crew were getting their beauty sleep, Wayne and myself started cooking brekkie. And not just any brekkie, brekkie of champions. I'm 
keen to see what happens today because yesterday was a lot of fun. We got uh, traff bogged and first time ever apparently. The beach was so soft, I couldn't believe it. Like I had to drop pressures again probably three times yesterday. Today I've taken jerry cans off, even my kayaks come off, um, a couple of cartons of drinks. And um, I should help with it today because, um, yeah, I don't want to get bogged. <laughs> I don't like getting bogged. We are now heading off for a bit of a day drive. I'm looking forward to showing the boys around Crayfish Bay and a few other points of interest, but we have no idea what we're about to get ourselves into.